Well, this is Fluxion, and I did, just now realized that there's a typo right there. But anyways, this is what it looks like when you start uh, brand new. And to get started, you'll want to start a new project. I have this test folder already. I'm going to overwrite this app.json file. It takes a JSON as the network file. <coughs> And when you do this, it will also create this js.js file. Um, I'm going to explain that at another time. So with the black background, that means the network is active. If you hit Command N uh, on a Mac or Control N, I think, on Windows, you will be able to get this node searcher. Um, it doesn't actually search for anything. You can only just select these two. So if I select JS, JS is like a building block, <clears throat> the most rudimentary type of node. Um, so let's create a hello world network uh, with one output for this. We'll create another one. <clears throat> the input Um, we will wire these two together and we'll edit this one. We'll say outputs data put hello world. And then on this one, we will say Okay, we'll save it. So I did a command S. <clears throat> You'll notice that there was a red marker that went across this link. I'll save again. You see it again. If uh, you do a refresh of the page, it will rerun the network. You can open the developer tools um, with Alt uh, Option I. <clears throat> I'm not sure what it is on Windows. Um, so here's the console from that uh, message traveling over this link. You can delete links. You can also, I didn't save, so it came back. Um, if you click this and open the console again, I'll save it. The orange indicates that it is listening on that link, um, so it will console log the data that travels over that link. You can delete nodes, <clears throat> you can rename them, um, you can add symbols, which this one does to illustrate a symbol. This one only takes a pug template and outputs the template. And that's it. There's no parsing or anything like that. <clears throat> you would probably use a JS module to parse with data what the template should render as. If your JS module requires a NPM package, you would type it here. So <clears throat> if you said AWS, um, I forget the name of it, but I think that might be it, or it's like SDK or something like that. Um, then AWS will be available um, in this text area. Uh, one thing to note though, is that this does not automatically install the package that you require. You would actually have to go to the folder um, and NPM install it at that location. That's the reason that the js.js file is there, is that it will relatively look up the npm packages from that directory. Um, you can create a new network if you want. Um, open save, save as, and export does not work at the moment. That's a feature that I already built, but I want to implement it in a slightly different manner. Um, hmm. 
Uh, so this erred because um, it's looking for this, which does not exist because there's no link. And that's the general basics for Fluxion. Um, I was actually going to cover a more advanced topic after this, but I think I will save that for another time. Let me know if you have any issues.